Crime scene investigators were searching for evidence to try to piece together the sequence of events which led to a man being shot last night in Peterborough. Later, a tent had been erected over the car the victim is thought to have been driving when it happened. The police were called at around 12.30 this morning with reports that people had heard gunshots here in the Crabtree area of Peterborough and officers and paramedics were then sent to the scene. Crabtree is a small network of residential streets to the north of the city. Brothers Grant and Mark Wilson live right next to where the car had come to a halt and Grant was one of the first people who tried to help the victim. I've just took a look in the car, I couldn't really see because it was dark. Then the, the lights went on, you could see he's been shot in the back of the head. You know what I mean? You could literally see it. Then they've told me to put pressure on the wound. And I'm holding on, I've had got a woman screaming at me and it like, took 20 minutes all in total as well for the even, like, police to arrive, then ambulance after that and all. I just had the, like, the bang, and so I didn't think nothing of it. And then I could hear like, the girl screaming, like, in the shot, because it was, just started down here first, and she just come up to the car. But I thought that she was like a domestic, was screaming, then she, I could hear her uh, screaming for help, help, someone called the police. A 29-year-old man was taken to hospital for treatment in a critical condition. Many people we spoke to were reluctant to appear on camera, and it has clearly worried those living in the area. My neighbours told me that somebody had been shot and obviously I'm going to the shop and uh, it's pretty scary, isn't it, when it's on your, your own doorstep. Uh, I'm quite worried now, actually. So far, no arrests have been made, but the police say they don't believe the wider public are at risk following the shooting. They've appealed for anyone with information to come forward and more officers have been deployed around the scene to reassure residents. Stuart Leith's ITV News Peterborough.